Something is not okay. There is something happening and I don't understand it. There is a change, a shift in the atmosphere and I am wrestling. For months I'm now wrestling with myself, with God, for the world. The universe has lost its balance and I'm losing my balance. I don't know how to call it, but I think it's time to wrestle with God. It's time to wrestle with God just like Jacob and Luther. Don't allow your past to destroy your future. I believe God has a plan for your life. And this message will help you. In Jesus' name to get one step closer to your divine destination. There is something in the air, a change, danger, fear. But this is also a time of opportunities. There are opportunities, especially in this time for you. These, these doors are open for you. These opportunities are there for you. Just grab them. Crisis after crisis, this uh, pandemic, war, people against people, countries are fighting with one another, problems with the economy, the environment, you name it. Different views, different ways of describing life. I don't know, so many things are here at the same time. People are becoming enemies of one another, different ways of describing life, views on life. Crisis after crisis have come together here now at our time. Other people tell you what to think. Some people, they want to control your mind, your thoughts. They want to control your brain. Others have appointed themselves as prosecutor and judge. They decide, they determine what's good behavior and what's not. Which words you can speak and which not. And if you go against them, you're in trouble. It, it's almost like the time when they were burning the witches. These people, they want to decide what to think, what to do, what is okay, what's not okay. In such a short time, all these things come together, all these changes, all this uncertainty. Reminds me of the Reformation 500 years ago. That was a time there was war, there was also pandemic, there were diseases, there was a lot of social unrest. For centuries, your life was predictable. Your role in society was clearly defined. But now, everything was uncertain. Now that time around the Reformation was also, was also a time of uncertainty. But at the same time, the horizon opened. New countries were discovered, new cultures, new people. Well, from the European point of view, new people were discovered. You understand me. At the same time, it was a time of a lot of scientific inventions, scientific progress, book printing. Because of the book printing, new ideas would spread like wildfire, a little bit like our time. A lot of these changes, inventions, they come at the same time. All over Europe, people started to question the status quo, to think, to doubt. This whole society, it was like a straitjacket. It didn't fit anymore. It didn't feel right. And also Christians started to think again, to question, what is my faith? Why is this church so powerful and telling me what to believe? Why can I not read the Bible in my own language? The Bible was only in Latin. It was forbidden to translate it into another language, the language of the people. Why can I not read the Bible? Why can I not discover my God? So many why, 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 so many questions. Something is wrong and people started to wrestle with their faith. Why do the people with power tell me how to believe? They started to wrestle with their faith. And one of them was Luther, Martin Luther. And his spirit and his mind were clashing because all his life they had been teaching him things about the Bible, about God. But in his spirit he knew, no, something is not okay here. Deep from the inside, Luther realized, my faith has been destroyed by, who has destroyed my faith? And Luther had a lot of questions. Do I know God? 
Yes, I know the rules, all the dogmas, all the things that people have taught me, the theology, the thesis. But do I know God? Do I know the Bible? Yes, I know what people have told me all my life, but do I know God? And then Luther started to wrestle and wrestle with himself, with his faith, with God. And Jacob was also a person who had to wrestle with God. All his life he had done what was right in his own eyes. And some of his actions were questionable. But now, in a, at a crucial time in his life, at these crossroads, he met God. And he knew now is the time to wrestle with God, to fight and not quit. Now I have to wrestle with God. As they were wrestling, God and Jacob were wrestling. God gave Jacob a choice. He said, let me go. As if God gave him a choice. Let's stop this fight, this wrestling right now. And you continue with your life. You stay as you are. In the same way, God gave Luther a choice. And me and also you. Do you want to stay as you are? Continue your life as seems fit in your own eyes? Or do you want to meet God? Do you really want to meet God? Then it's time to wrestle with your faith, to wrestle with God. But the choice is yours. And wrestling with God will always be rewarded. Seeking God, at the end, it will be rewarded. Your stubbornness, your persistence, it will be rewarded. Trust me, my friend, you need stamina, grit, don't quit. And it will not always be nice or easy, but you have to persevere. You have to keep on wrestling. I don't know the road God will take with you. But at the end, you will meet God for sure. But probably your life will be turned upside down. And also your mentality, all your ideas, they will be completely changed. With Jacob, his name was changed, his identity. And this can also happen to you, that your identity, who you are, who you think you are, or who you think you're supposed to be, will completely be changed. And then you realize, but this is the plan God has for my life. This is the person I ought to be. And some changes will be painful. Just like Jacob, he was hit at his hip and he couldn't walk straight anymore the, whole, the rest of his life. And Luther, Martin Luther, he started a completely new movement, the Protestants. It wasn't even his intention to start this movement. But at the same time, he had a lot of enemies, thousands and thousands of enemies really hated him and wanted to kill him. And probably you too, the people around you, we started to hate you, to come against you. you say, who, you do, who do you think you are? Why do you have to change? Are we not good enough for you? Who do you think you are? And the only thing you want to do is meet your God. The only thing you want to do is meet God. You don't want to change people. You don't want to challenge the society. The only thing you want is to meet God. We are living in times with a lot of uncertainty, fear, anger. But it's also time when you can meet God, really meet God. And, uh, and when you meet God, there are a lot of opportunities. You can be part of this new movement. I don't want to call it movement, but a movement that will bring a Christian revolution in this world. We, you and I, together with God, we can shape the future of this planet. If we believers don't step out in faith, then who will shape? our dear planet. Will you join? Will you join me in wrestling with God? Let's wrestle with God until. Uh, thanks for watching my message. Subscribe, please. Be blessed and stay blessed.